What's up YouTube? This is Bushcraft Dave and tonight I am bringing you a review of the Kube Large Flipper. So this is a, a knife that is or a brand that is very new to me. I'm quite familiar with Inlan, with uh, San Renmu, with Gonzo, but um, one night up late searching on Amazon looking for another uh, budget-friendly knife to purchase, I came across this brand and this thing really stood out to me because it uses um, ball bearings. This is my first knife that uses ball bearings and I just wanted to, to give it a shot. It was only $22. Uh, it was a flipper and I really dig the, the, blade, sh the blade shape. It's, it's different than what I normally go for. Let's talk about the steel. So this knife utilizes 5CR13 MOV, not the, the typical 440C or the 8CR13 MOV that we usually see with these Chinese uh, budget knives. But uh, in my testing, I thought the edge held up pretty decently. Um, I've heard people say 5CR13 MOV is somewhat similar to 420 stainless, and depending on the heat treat, 420 can be pretty decent. So. Take it for what it's worth. In my experience in testing this knife, cutting uh, cardboard and cutting wood and, and all that stuff, I thought it held up pretty well. This knife was relatively easy to sharpen, but due to the recurve, I had to use one of my um, sharpening rods instead of just a, a flat diamond stone. The, uh, the length on this knife, it's about four inches for the blade. The handle was about four and a quarter. The blade shape is quite unique. So it's it has a slight drop point here. It has a unsharpened swedge and it's recurved. It has a hollow grind. This knife features a lot of details. So let me see if you can let me focus in on here. As you can see this is chamfered here. A very nice detail and it's also chamfered a little bit over here. Let's talk about blade play here. There's no blade play. Well, actually, there's a smidge, and I think it might be because of the uh, ball bearings. A smidge. Not much at all. Up and down, there's nothing. Blade centering. Yep, that's pretty centered, if you ask me. And the finish is quite unique as well. So this is a, a brushed steel finish here, and this is a polished finish down there. The logo is laser etched. Let's talk about the handle now. Actually, before we do that, let's talk about the, the flipper. It's jimped here, which is a really nice detail. And like I said before, it's chamfered. Some flippers you just pull straight down like this, and then some flippers you actually push in. So with this one, you're gonna push in and downward just a little bit, and it comes out. Pretty smooth. Very nice. So the handles utilize G10 scales. It's authentic G10 if you ask me. It's a very nice pattern. Besides looking very cool, it does give you a lot of grip. The G10 and the stainless steel liners are jimped here, here, down here, and the liner lock is also jimped. This knife utilizes ball bearings as is its pivot. It's quite... Um, I think it's it's very ergonomic except for one issue I have with this knife. The only issue I really have is the pocket clip. Although it is very sturdy, it's very well made. It's designed to to be, you know, carried pretty low in the pocket. My issue with it it is it's uncomfortable. I don't like it in this configuration. I prefer my knives um, carried tip up cuz this creates a swell and I'd rather have it here where it just disappears into the, this area of my palm. When it's up here, it creates some friction with this part of my, my hand. 
So I'm going to remove the uh, the pocket clip. But aside from that, I think this knife is very comfortable. Let's weigh this knife. Let me grab my scale. Is that right? 5.6 ounces. And next, I will show you guys some of the, uh, the cut tests and then I'll bring the video to a conclusion. Okay guys, so in conclusion, I believe this knife is a great deal. For 22 bucks, you're getting a lot of craftsmanship. There is a lot of details on this knife. You have jimping on the, on the G10 and the liner. You have jimping on the, uh, the flipper there. The edges are chamfered, rounded here. You have a two-tone finish on the blade. The G10 pattern is very nice, very aesthetic, and provides a lot of traction. You have the ball bearings, which is awesome. Like I said, this is my first knife with um, ball bearings, and it's really cool. I Also, what I, the other thing I really like about this knife is it's different. It doesn't look like a typical Inlon or San Renmu or Ganzo knife. It's quite unique. So I think this is a, a, a pretty good addition to anyone's collection. Um, if the steel was 8 CR13 MOV, I think this would be like a home run. But even at even with the 5 CR13 MOV, I think that's perfectly adequate in my testing. And the only issue is really the pocket clip for me. So I'm just going to remove it. Actually, I'll remove it right now on camera. There are two screws, I already removed one. Okay, so that's what you're left with there. Mm, yes, very nice. Well guys, this concludes my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.